Minecraft's 15th anniversary is just around the corner. And it now seems we are starting to see reported leaks on what the community might be expecting over the month of May 2024. Reports are indicating a new cape will be available for players to redeem. But leaked sources are also indicating a possible new Minecraft game might well be on the horizon. Now we don't know how true these leaks are and of course only time is going to tell. So always take these kind of videos and this information with a grain of salt. This all started on April 14th when a tweet was posted by this user saying leaks on a Sunday posting an image featuring a placeholder Minecraft skin and of course a creeper themed cape. Now this tweet has started to gain traction with it now having nearly 100,000 views. Of course, players and people in the community are questioning how legitimate this is and how they discovered this image, with the rumor being the official Minecraft website was updated on Sunday, displaying this image for a limited time. This wouldn't actually be the first time Minecraft gave players a cape to celebrate an anniversary, because as you know, on the 10th anniversary, we were given this golden creeper cape. A lot of questions were asked towards this user. Of course, how did you get it? When's it going to be available? Who is it available for? And in response, they said, yes, this cape is going to be on Bedrock and Java. Yes, this cape is for Minecraft's 15th birthday. Yes, it is Awesome. A wiki page also tweeted saying this is an image of a cover commemorating Minecraft's 15th anniversary. A special anniversary book is also set to be released on Amazon UK on September 12th, 2024. Now that date is definitely going to be a placeholder, but the image you can see referring to the book says the world of Minecraft, a special numbered edition of the behind the scenes book limited to 1000 copies to celebrate the hit video game's 15th anniversary. On the book itself, it says a visual history of the global phenomenon. So I imagine this is going to show you the insight to Mojang from many, many years ago. I wonder if it does actually feature Notch. But with it being only 1,000 copies, I can already see these being resold on eBay for a very high price. On the windowscentral.com website, a paragraph was released saying, as we approach the 15th anniversary, Minecraft remains one of the best-selling games of all time, with over 300 million copies sold, a milestone no one could have dreamed of when we were all placing our first blocks, said Helen Chiang, head of Mojang Studios. Our incredible community has built Minecraft into what it is today and what it will become in the future. We can't wait to share new Minecraft content and experiences in the years ahead. I strongly believe that this information is true. The whole cape situation, well, Minecraft capes seem to be the way to players' hearts. People love capes. They were gate kept for a very, very long time where only people who visited Minecraft Minecon events were able to obtain them. So I think this is just Minecraft's way of giving back to players who might have missed out. As for the book, well, that makes sense. Mojang and Minecraft and Microsoft, they love releasing multiple Minecraft-related books. And the best way to do it is make limited copies, but probably have them at a high cost. A brand new Minecraft spin-off game is rumored to be announced during the 15th anniversary. We've seen Mojang and Microsoft do this before, with some being successful like the story mode and dungeons, but we've also seen them fail terribly with the likes of Minecraft Earth and Minecraft Legends. Now more information is being released regarding this. The Twitter user Smokey Stacks, a very well-known Minecraft data miner, he tweeted saying, in the latest hashtag Minecraft preview, they updated the credits file. Something that caught my eye was this. Very interesting, they would update this in Bedrock, but the Minecraft website hasn't even been updated yet. And he posted an image of a line of code that says, title, engineering director, internal, new games. What makes this interesting is that Minecraft and Mojang have already discontinued dungeons. It's done. No more DLCs, no more updates. 
and they've bit the bullet with Minecraft Legends. It didn't take off like they wanted to because they didn't listen to the community, if I'm honest with you, but they've just bit the bullet. So the developers that were working on those games are reportedly now working on another Minecraft game. With the speculation in the community so far being one of two answers, Mojang are going to be making Minecraft Dungeons 2. It was a success, so why wouldn't they make another one? The other rumors are is that Mojang and Minecraft are going to be making a card themed game like Hearthstone. Again, I don't know how true these rumors are or in fact, if we're going to be getting some kind of brand new game. But what I did find interesting is this Minecraft news Twitter account said Mojang is working on something big. May can't come any sooner. Somebody responded saying, you think it could be a new Minecraft game? Or you think they are going to do something unprecedented and announce the next update early? Or give a hint, suggesting the 15th anniversary updates will have a longer dev cycle. And they responded saying the Dungeons devs are working on a new game. If you were to ask me my opinions on this whole entire situation, yes, I strongly believe Mojang are about to announce a brand new Minecraft game for the 15th anniversary. As for what type of game it's going to be, honestly, I would love a Dungeons 2. I loved Dungeons. They did a great job with that game. It sold a lot of copies. And I think that would be the easier option for them because they know that they would make money. However, that last question at the end regarding the whole update situation. So the 1.21 update is breaking all records. And what I mean by that is it's been done and completed in a record time. And I actually think it's going to be releasing a lot sooner than we expect, which means I think in May during the 15th anniversary, we might actually get the announcement of 1.22, which we could see at the end of this year. And the reason why we're seeing 1.21 so much faster is because going back to Minecon, Lady Agnes said that they are working on internal tech so they can produce updates faster and release them much faster. And we're actually seeing instances of this with the 1.21 update. It's just gone off course. The 1.21 update just does not align with some of the previous updates that we've had. They've completed it. We're pretty much done with all the features. And right now it's all about balance and bug fixing, which I actually don't think is going to take them anywhere near as long as it previously did. So we could, and this is just my speculation and opinion, could be in line for two major updates per year going forward. I think if we do get one towards the back end of this year though, it might be much smaller than the 1.21 updates.